When I first got this game, uh, it was uh, wired up to be running from 220 volts AC power. This is the wiring for the 220 volt connection. And since this is clearly a death trap, I decided to bypass the transformers and I'm running uh, the game on 5 volts, 4 amps from my benchtop power supply. And this seems to be enough to drive the coils and lamps without any uh, problems. Uh, we can take a look at the components underneath the playfield. Uh, this is the main transformer. And this uh, weird looking device is a rectifier of a type I have never seen before. Uh, there's some markings on the side, so I uh, had to Google it, and uh, it turns out to be uh, something called a Samuel Rubens Magnesium Copper Sulfide Rectifier. And this is uh, from 1937. These are the scoring mechanisms for uh, controlling the lights for the 100 point and 1000 point scoring. Uh, this is an air piston. <laughs> which is actually actually okay. The rubber seal uh, is still intact after some 75 years. Uh, this is the tilt mechanism and the slam tilt. Um, and uh, this is uh, the lever for uh, initiating a new game. So the coin mechanism will push, push against this uh, lever and this will reset the scoring mechanisms and apply power to the game. So it's kind of amazing that uh, this game is from 1938 and all this stuff underneath there is actually working without any issues. I had some small problems with contacts for some of the lights but everything else is actually operational. I spent some time uh, cleaning the contact surfaces of the game. Uh, surprisingly, the underside was mostly okay, except for some contact points controlling uh, some of the lights. Uh, on these targets, it was necessary to use the Dremel tool to get most of the corrosion off, and also some chemicals. Uh, I'm going to start the game. Uh, I'm running this at 5 volts, 4 amps now. And here we can see it remembers the score from the previous game. If I reset the game, it should reset the score to zero, which it does. Uh, these targets are worth 100 points, and this is worth 1000 points. So we can see the 1000 points trigger works, and here we can see the 100 points. So these are actually two separate scoring systems. Uh, one coil controls the 100 point scoring and one coil controls the 1000 point scoring. So when this rolls over it will activate the second coil. So it reaches 900 and if I trigger this again it should increase the 1000, which it does. So that seems to be working okay. And amazingly all the bulbs were also working. I haven't replaced a single bulb in this game yet. This is the coin mechanism for the game. Uh, it's purely mechanical, of course. Uh, if there is no coin present, we won't be able to slide this all the way through and initiate a new game. So if we insert a coin here, we can hopefully slide this through and we can reset the game. So that works. This game is supposed to have two plungers. One is for launching a ball into the shooter lane and one is for launching the ball onto the playfield. And unfortunately, this uh, ball shooter assembly has broken off at some point. Uh, I'll have to try to reproduce that uh, and make it look as similar as the original as I can. Unfortunately, there are absolutely no pictures to be found anywhere on the internet. Uh, there is a similar game called Junior which has the same playfield layout. But uh, on this game, the plunger assembly is somewhat different. And I haven't been able to find any games with the same arrangement as this one. So I'll 
just have to try and wing it using 3D printed parts maybe some two component epoxy clay and metal paint and see if I can make something that looks like it would fit on the original game. Can't quicken that cause I love you Yes I do 